Hello everybody, welcome back. We are setting up for uh, combat by Compass Games, designed by Ross Martel. Um, we are doing Scout the Hill. Uh, the Germans I have drawn. Um, there are reinforcements possible through leader active activation or random events. It is nighttime. Um, visibility I rolled four. We can only see four hexes away and anybody uh, sneaking or hiding, I think it is, will be um, harder to sp um, spot from farther than two away. And um, let me get that roll back up here. And it's also going to be harder to shoot from more than two away or harder to hit. Yeah, as sneaker high orders uh, beyond range two. And then firing minus two to all firing beyond range two because it's dark. Unless, of course, there's flares up. So I kind of randomly drew my soldiers, as I always do. You guys know that. we got to start anywhere within four hexes of this uh, board edge. And um, uh, we got Taylor. Greg, uh, Donahue, Walsh, Woodruff, and Douglas up here in my uh, Group A. Group A is going to be responsible for scouting uh, these two hexes right here, in my northern flank. And um, I didn't really set them up. I just kind of drew them there so I knew who's coming from where. Um, I'd like to try and get them in through up here, or at least I have some kind of cover. Um, so I think I'm going to just bring all them in up here and then just come down from the north. It may, might even come in at the rear and then come forward. Um, see if we can get by these guys without being seen. At least getting these rocks. So, um, we'll get the, and I have a medic in each one. I keep getting lucky and drawing the medics I need. I, I guess you can call it lucky. Um, the medics are really worthless when it comes to combat, but uh, we got two rifle grenaders, grenadiers that we uh, drew for each, and um, each group has a tough. I keep forgetting that tough. I don't know in the games whether I've messed up and not uh, drawn twice for them on hits, but they get an extra draw, and they can choose the better of the two. Uh, down here... Group B, they're going to scout these other two points. And um, this one here, i got to work the exact opposite. All my cover's right here, so we're just going to come in and just bull rush our way through. Not bull rush, but come in through this direction here. And um, hopefully these guys here aren't too horrible. Uh, we got to follow our cover, at least to here. If we, maybe we could come in. Eh. But them up here, if we get a star shell, we got to come in through cover. It's going to be interesting. Um, so, again, we have a T down here, and uh, we got uh, Crow, we got Corporal Thomas, Private Johnson, Private Butterman, Private Temple, Private Stubbs, Private uh, Crow, and, um, of course, we, as I stated, we have the medic, um, I do have a BAR down this round, and which works pretty good. I can put him up on his hill and try to, well, in the range of four, that's going to be tough. But we can try and um, defeat some of this stuff with that. And hopefully none of these come out as the machine guns. And again, we have the two um, rifle grenadiers down here. Um, I haven't used them too much. I've got to get, got to get into using them a little bit more. Um, so I'm trying. Trying to expand my horizon some here. All right, so we're set up basically for that. I'm going to issue my orders. I already filled my hand. We have three cards. Um, I'm going to go ahead and use up this. Because I don't want this poor shooting when the shit hits the fans. We're going to use that as our first initiative card and um, 
to go ahead and put our orders in. And I don't know. I we got 15 turns, but I don't want to shirk neither. Um, it'd almost be worth trying to sprint everybody to like for the first turn and then go tactical after that. I just hope I don't get caught with my pants down. Um, I think we're going to do that. I just try to get them up there so I can take my time when we're up up in the up into the shit. We're going to sprint everybody, and we'll put uh, we'll keep them like that too. Down here, I think I'm going to do the same thing, try to sprint them all up into the woods, and then we'll, then we'll go into an evade tactic or a running gun as things start uh, heating up. So we're just going to try to get up there in a hurry, and then we'll, we'll settle back in. Everybody's going to be sprinting, and I ran out of sprint counters somehow. Well, we're going to just make that a given that we're all sprinting. Actually, I'll put a German sprint on there. How's that? Um, I think we're ready to go. Germans do not get any, um, any, uh, actions because we're all unprepared and sitting in their maybe foxholes in their defensive positions. We're just going to draw four cards for their, um, initiative and then we're going to set up our initiative tracker and go for this so you see i have the dp set up on the 15 marker so i know where my last turn is and um, we're going to go ahead and set up the impulse tracker now or initiative tracker uh, we got a 24 42 and 46 or 7 white will go first 22 charlie 42 and 46. Hmm, nice. Avon and Baker. Uh, 47 will be red. 49 will be blue. And yellow will come in last. Really, everybody got a decent uh, initiative on that one. All right. Um, so we're set up for that. Get our pieces and everything out here. So we've got everything we need. Pulled off to the side. We don't hopefully mm, and ah uh, too much, and I'm sure I'm going to make some mistakes. I tend to forget things, and um, sometimes I catch them, sometimes I don't. But uh, we'll, we'll make it as accurate as possible. And I'm not afraid to draw the rules up to make sure that I'm playing correctly too. So you'll get a lot of that. Uh, all right, so let's get this go game underway here. Uh, white will go first. Nobody's available. Nobody to spot. Um, Charlie. He's going to go one. He's going to go one. So I've gotten Charlie up there. One there, one there. I was looking the rules up, and I've been playing that wrong. Sprint craters. I do got to look at craters. I may not want to run into a crater. Craters rough, so I cannot run into a crater. Yeah, so we'll run him down into here. All right, and this guy. He can run through a tree, but they're not rough. He can run right there. That's Charlie. Nobody to spot yet. Uh, Abel. I moved him already. He shouldn't have moved. All right, and then Baker. I guess I can move them all at one time. That's not really going to matter because they all, at least until we have stuff arranged. That way we don't clog everything up like we just did. All right, Baker's done. Red. Nobody to spot. Nothing to see yet. The range is four. Blue, 
blue-nothing, yellow-nothing impulse one's done. Impulse two, again, white-nothing. I'm going to just go ahead and move all these guys in or, out of order just to keep things moving. Two. Two, sprint. Long grass is not rough. One, two. Keep them out of the rocks. The rocks are rough. One, two. Two. I really don't want to go up here. I don't think anybody's going to see me up there anyway, but um, we'll see. Don't have to make that decision yet. We go around the five, the craters. One, two. Two. One, two. And one, two. All right. And again, they can't spot anybody. So that's um, one, two, three. They're done, done, done. And... You have the possibility of seeing up to eight hexes away, but I got the poor roll as I normally do, so my guys and the guys are not going to be able to spot to up here. So really, unless somehow we get the um, a uh, night night shell up there, so star shell up there, we're in trouble. You know, we're not going to see it. Yeah, there's nothing on the board. I'm just making sure there's not supposed to be any star shells out right away. All right, so that's going to take care of impulse number two. Impulse number three, again, white can't see anybody because we're not close yet, so we're just going to move all of our guys. Do this nice and easy. I'm going to move him there, him there. I'll move them more in order once we're up close. Right now we're just sprinting. Closing the distance, trying to get up there so we can do what we can do. I am going to run him up, up here. I should have had him there then. So in that instance, I won't. He's going to have to be there. These guys will run up there now. Weaseling my way through all of that mess right there. All right, that's my guys. Uh, their last three still have nobody to see. Nobody's within four. That's going to be the end of impulse number three. Go to impulse number four. White, again, can't see anybody. So we're going to go ahead and sprint. I'm going to go ahead and move these guys to full measure, even though they're not covered. And next turn, we start doing the evade thing. All right. I'm going to bring him right to here now. Oh, I already split him up. We'll do that. I like to keep them kind of together, but... All right, starting to spread them out a little bit. Hit the trees up. Two, three, four. They can't see anybody, so that's the end of impulse four. We'll start turn number two. Clear out our initiative track. Remove all orders. And set new orders and draw our card. Um, I'm going to go at the worst initiative. Actually, send to initiative. Why don't I do that? Um, I think that'll help us better. 
help if I get rid of the old cards before I do that. And again, we're going to draw theirs one, two, three, four. I'm going to put an evade orders, I believe, on everybody because we don't know where anybody's at right yet. So I'd rather just work my way into cover and then we'll open up. Um. He could actually come up here and sneak. But no, I really want to get up here. Come in through the rocks and down. We're not going to have enough cover to do everything we want, though. All right. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and sneak sneak him into those rocks we're going to evade these guys up into these rocks and maybe him into these rocks actually i think i'll put him up in those rocks don't matter we're going to evade anyway one two three all these guys are evading I only want the one guy going real slow. We'll try to keep them all out of uh, four hex range, except for my guy that's sneaking. We know they're out there somewhere. We don't know how much. We would advance cautiously. Starting right there. So for my front runners, I'm going to... Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to sneak him in. And everybody else is going to try to evade in the cover. So I get them all up there in, in a line. Duck back. Remember we get that minus two spot if we're sneaking. So hopefully we can do that pretty good. All right, let's get ourselves set up here. And they are unprepared, so I will go through that in the rule book again, too, because I always tend to forget the exact uh, setup on that until I start playing again. Because the last game I played, they were already alerted that they were on the attack. They tend to forget. I don't remember like I used to. Don't know what happened there. 16 is our best. 1 is their best. Red will go first. Then we'll go Charlie. Uh, 25 white, 26 baker, 63 blue, 79 yellow, and then Abel will pull up the rear. All right, let's do this turn. We've, we've got to try to come back with a prisoner and get him off the board, too. One more reason we have to hurry. Um, hurry, but not hurry. Red. One, two, three, four. He can't see anybody yet. He's the only one in question. Charlie. Going to go into full evade now. And we will do things in order. He is my, he's one of my key personnel. I'll put him right there. Two, three, four. Evade. 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 Nobody's within four yet. A sneak, not on the first impulse. He's going to evade down to here. He's going to evade up to there. Yeah, I should not have moved him yet. It's not his turn. And I 
should not have moved him yet. It's not his turn. I'm not sure where he was, but we'll move him back one. Um, remember to do things in order. Now, white, nobody's within one. I mean, four, so go to Baker. Baker, or evade. Put him into the front part of the woods where he can add support if things hit the fan. Miss Baker's going to evade down into this woods. Or trees, rather. That's within four. He is not evading. Um, he is... They have no order. It doesn't say no order, but I'm, <clears throat> no order is as good as a hide or a sneak, I assume. Or do they... No, it doesn't say. It just says hide or sneak. So we're going to attempt to spot him. Um, that'll be a five, a range of four. That's plus one unprepared and no water in the we think the open but he might get a foxhole so that's a zero eight we don't see him anyway uh, this baker is going to come back up here now not close enough to see anybody blue still nobody within range yet Nobody within range yet. Nobody within range yet. He's got a dead spot anyway. Oh, no, he doesn't because of the way he's looking down the hill. Um, so that brings up yellow. Again, nobody to see. Abel. Going to evade into the... Let's evade him into the tree. This guy's going to evade into here. And sneaking, not on the first impulse. Oh, goodness, I didn't want to remove orders. I want to remove the mark. There we go. Go to impulse number two. Red. He can attempt to spot him. Um, four. Evading in the trees. Minus one. Needs a three. Gets a nine. Doesn't see him. Charlie. Or bait over here. Definitely going to keep him out of the way. Oh, he is not ready to move yet. It's Charlie's turn. Uh, this guy. I'd like to keep moving him into there. We're going to evade him in this tree and try and spot him again. A four. He is no order in the open, zero, plus one. So that's actually a spot. And that's a dummy. We will go ahead and turn him to red. That's good. Down here, Charlie. Try to keep him out of range as long as possible. And him. This is a sneak, so he can sneak now. Not quite enough to get in there. This guy's going to evade. Not quite enough yet. That's it for Charlie. White. Nobody to spot yet. Baker. Evade. We're going to evade him right to there. Evade. I'm going to get him to go over here for the rocks. This guy's going to evade for these rocks. And we don't have to be too cautious now because he's no longer there. We thought we heard something, but we don't now. All right, so blue. Blue's got almost, but not quite. Almost, but not quite. Almost, but not quite. Yellow. Nothing able. Made into the logs. Sneak him forward, ballsy like now. Kind of messed my own plan up doing that. And this guy's a bait, so he's going to go follow these guys over here. Try to keep him out of the order, get these guys coming in strong down here. Definitely want to take the trees now. All right, um, that's it for my guys. That's it for impulse two. Impulse number three. Red, nobody to see. 
I don't even think there's any rates on the board anymore, is there? No. Uh, Charlie. All right, we have an evade up here. I'll get him up to the high rocks. Evade over to there. Evade right there. That tree's going to be blocking him anyway. This guy's going to evade right to there. He's too high. That's one high. So that will be able to be seen. So he's got to be seen here too. Four. Seven. Don't get him. This guy's sneaking. Not this turn. This guy's evading. To evade down to here. Gonna see him. He's a two high. And I'll look that rule up because there is a um, dead spot between that. See if I can find it real quick. All right, blind hexes. Range to obstacle. One, two, three. Blind hex is one. So he won't be able to see him. He won't be able to see him likewise. All right. And that's it for Charlie. White nothing Baker. While we're down here, we'll go ahead and evade him in. him over to the rocks, laid him into the rocks, oh, I wish I wouldn't have done that sneak, felt good at the time, uh, blue, can't see anybody yet, nothing yet, this guy's got him in range, but he's got a blind spot, this guy is not a blind spot, so you can attempt to see him evading in the tree, minus one, He's a three, plus one, zero, four, three. Actually sees me. And he is a, um, so I've got to go, now I've got to check the um, unprepared and everything. That's what I'm not as, as good on as I, as I expect myself to be. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, for all two things I forgot. I forgot to put bold on us because we're bold. And this, this guy spotted Sim, so he will not get an order. I'll mark him as unprepared, uh, take his unprepared off now. And um, next turn, he will draw an order, but he can't act on it until the following turn, which means he's not going to be able to act um, this turn. That's their deficit for being um, kind of sitting around sluggish, got to fumble around, get her gear on, put her helmet on, uh, get her weapon. He actually saw us. We did not see him yet. I just need to know that he is um, good. And then nobody else will be alerted or anything because no shots have been fired yet. And he's now within three. Doesn't matter. Blue, this guy can't see yet. So yellow, nothing. Able. Sneaking, but not on impulse three. Medical, bait into the trees. Guy's going to evade into the logs. That's the end of impulse three, impulse four. Taking us two turns to get into position. But at least. Um, red. Nobody on the map yet. Charlie. Going to evade into these rocks. He's going to evade into these rocks. He's going to evade into here. Try to spot him. Plus one. No order. Trees. Minus two. Um, minus two. Plus one. Zero. Minus one. Need a four. Need a nine. We're not doing too good. This guy's going to try to get into here. 
again he's going to do the same thing blind spot of one yeah he'll be able to see him slopes always get kind of interesting I really want to make a print of the um, blind spot thing so I don't have to keep accessing it. I'd love to put that up there. Of course, when you try to find it in a hurry, it all goes slow. He cannot find it. One to five, and that's going to be that slope going into there. So one blind hex behind it. One, so he'll be able to, they'll be able to see each other. Um, so five minus one, four, he will get spotted. Oh, an officer right out on the front lines. What the hell is he doing? Maybe going around checking sentry posts. Um, that takes me to the um, special rules. On the turn following the one in which a German officer becomes alerted for the first time, draw and replace German characters in the following hexes. So the next turn we're going to draw and replace. There goes some of my victory points already. He will be, and we're not going to put an order on him so we can take that unprepared off. Charlie can finally sneak into his impulse four. He's going to sneak into here. Actually, I forgot to add that one, two for the bold. I'm forgetting a lot already. One, two, three, four. He's uh, minus two, plus one, minus one. He's got a seven, eight. Takes it to six, I mean seven, two. We know he's um, a, a soldier, too, that we already saw him. And this guy's going to evade right there. We don't need to do too much else. With him, uh, Charlie's done white. Nobody for them to spot yet. Yet, dead spot in the trees. So we'll try to use them dead spots to our advantage. Baker, I'll evade him up into here. This guy is going to evade. Got no choice but to try to get into these trees now. Two, three, four, nothing there. It's Baker. Baker down here. I'm going to go ahead and duck him back. No sense being a hero. And we're just starting a firefight with him, which is going to alert all these other guys. So the shit's going to get real here now. Oh, you know what? Um, the other thing I did uh, I do, did need to do, enemy character is alerted, make a TQC. If it passes, place it a foxhole. So he's a six. He does not pass. So he is wandering around checking the, the perimeter. This guy does pass, so he gets a foxholes. All right, um, blue. He can attempt to spot him. That's a uh, plus one, evading in the trees. Minus one, zero, he's a six, zero, nothing like having a, a good uh, soldier on the front there. Um, he can also attempt to spend, spot him, that's again a zero, nine, doesn't see him, blind spot, okay, this guy, he can see him. Yes, minus one, plus one, he's a six. 
five, he sees him. Medic spotted. One blind spot, so we got to go ahead and he can spot him. One, three, four, six again. Five sees him. Yeah, my whole group down here is getting spotted now. This guy can't see anybody, so blue's done. They can draw an order, but I'm not even going to bother doing it because they can't act on it until the next impulse when this is impulse four. So, uh, yellow, nothing, able. Sneaking into the rocks. This guy's going to go ahead and evade right here. Start advancing now. Able. He's going to evade into the trees. That's it for Able. That is it for turn number two. We're in position. We've got some Germans spotted. We actually got one of our VPs in order. We just got to get past him. Then we got an officer that we can see. Go to the advanced turn marker to three. Get rid of all the cards. Um, get rid of all the orders. I'm going to go ahead and stop this video. We'll do turn three where we start the action on the next video because things will go a lot slower then. Thanks for joining me. This is Combat by Compass Games designed by Ross Mortel and we are Gouting the Hill. See you next time.